In this Wix tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how to add a blog post to your site. So if your site already includes a blog, let's take a look at all of the features around managing your posts and adding an actual blog post and what you need to be sure to include while you're adding that. So I'm on the blog tab of this example site here, and we have some categories, we have some sample posts already in here. There's a few ways that you can do this, but basically you're gonna be going to your dashboard to manage your posts. Now, I'm gonna go back to the editor first. We were in a preview mode. Within the editor, you can go to manage posts, and that's gonna open up the dashboard. But if you're already on your dashboard, for instance, I have both tabs opened, the editor of my site and also the dashboard of my site, you'll actually be able to manage your entire blog here on the left-hand side. You can see the blog, uh, category here and then it's going to drop down and give you an overview and then you can go into your posts your comments your categories everything like that inside of overview we're going to actually see our latest published post we can manage our posts right over here we can even create a new post with this button up here we won't click that yet instead we'll just go to the actual posts section of our blog here on our dashboard when we go there we're gonna see some more options. We're gonna see all of the posts that we have. We're gonna be able to see all of the posts that are under review. We're gonna be able to see any of our drafts. We're gonna be able to see the trash or any scheduled posts as well. So you can really manage everything here. You can click and select posts, add categories to multiple posts, revert them to drafts, move to trash, all that kind of stuff. You can even edit a post. But if we wanted to create a new post, we would click this button right here. Now. Before we do that, if you're within your dashboard, sure, go ahead and do that. But if you're actually over here in your editor, a really quick and easy way is to select your blog section and then click Manage Posts right here. That's gonna open up a light box window of the dashboard and take you right to the post section or the overview of your blog. The easy part about this is all you have to do once you've saved your changes is click this X button and go directly back to the editor instead of having to navigate back. So let's finally click that blue button that says create new post if you haven't already. Now it's gonna take us into the post editor. Let's take a quick look at this. In the upper right, we're gonna see our publish buttons currently grayed out because we haven't added anything in here. This is kind of a food blog. So we'll add a title about food. Maybe in this case, we'll add burgers, if you will, and then once I type in that title, I can click down here to start writing my post, where I can add images, video, uh, text, anything I want in here. To start with, I might say, this is a post about burgers. Uh, and that's probably all the text I'll add in here, but we'll go over all the options. Now at the top is all of your uh, text options and ways that you can insert, link, hyperlink, all of those basic content management system options are up here to bold text, to create lists, to highlight, all of that kind of stuff. Now over on the left hand side here, we have our post settings, some SEO category options. We have tags that we can add here and a couple other options around monetization and translation. When we click add, that's the same thing as clicking this plus icon right here. So what does that do? Well, that allows us to add a lot of different elements to our post. We can add images, galleries, videos, GIFs, or GIFs if you like to call them that. You can upload files to this post. You can also add elements that are design elements like dividers and buttons, tables, polls, and then you can also add HTML if you want to, AdSense code, and even SoundCloud here has some integration. So as you're building your post, you can add any of these elements in here and you can press the return key to create a paragraph break. So if this post was about burgers, and then I wanted to add a picture in here, if I click that plus button, obviously it pulls this open. I go to image and it brings up the ability to upload media. So you can upload your own imagery, or you can even explore from free, uh, copyright free images from Unsplash, media from Wix or Shutterstock, some of which would be premium. Just check all of the guidelines and requirements within your Wix subscription. But we could type in here, let's say we did burgers, right? So we can type in here burgers and we can search for an image that makes sense. Maybe this one right here, select it and add it to the page. 
Now we've included this image into our post. And when we have our image selected, we even have some image options here of how that image is displayed. You can align it to the left, center, or right. You've got edit image options. You can go into the settings. You can actually link this image to a different page or any other different element, actually a web address or a section of a page. You can also adjust the size of the image and how it fits within your page. Now over here on the left, we have a settings for this post. And inside of here, it went ahead and pulled that image in as our featured image. So it just pulled in the first image, but you can actually update this. So the first image in your post and the featured image don't have to be the same thing. So you can click on featured image and actually upload something. And that's gonna be the image that is the thumbnail of your post. You can just publish it now when you hit that publish button or even schedule a publish date and decide who the writer is and if this post is featured on your blog, which would show up in your layout of your blog wherever your featured posts are. If we go to the advanced section, there's an excerpt. So basically this is like a meta description that we're basically putting in here what we want. If this post, let's say this post shows up in, um, on Google search, then this excerpt is what would show up. We can also add related posts. So at the bottom of this post, we would see related posts. Let's say that we think something like pasta and ice cream and pizza are related. We could select those other posts that we've made, hit done, and then those are what's gonna show up as related posts. We can allow or disallow commenting on this post as well. So if you don't want comments on your blog at all, you can just uncheck any posts you don't want comments on. We have some SEO options here on the left. You have an assistant here. You can go to the basics for the URL. So you can change the URL slug. So whatever uh, your URL is for your site and your domain and everything and your blog, then this is gonna show up sort of at the end of it. Your title tag is gonna be that title that's at the top of your browser and actually meta description here would be what the search engines uh, choose to display. So actually what this is back here, back in settings, this advanced mode here. So this is actually the excerpt that would show up next to your thumbnail on your website. Either the first part of your post will show up or you can say, I want a specific excerpt to show up on the clickable thumbnail of this in my blog layout. And then when they go to the post, they'll just read whatever I've written in the post. So if you don't want the first sentences of your post to be the excerpt, this is where you can change that. In the SEO settings, if you want it to show up on Google search in a certain way, either you copy paste your excerpt if it's the same thing, or you put in the meta description here with your keywords and what you wanna rank for and all that. That'll help make you show up better in search results and then also make it more clickable and enticing here. It gives you that option to customize that. Now with categories, you can select a category and assign it here. If you don't have one, for instance, I don't think it fits in either of these categories, I can create a new category and I could just call this category uh, burgers if I want to. I like it all caps on my site's design, so I'm doing that, but you could write it however you would like. Check mark that and now I have a new burgers category and that's the main category for this post. You can also add tags to your post. This is more this is more of an organizational thing, I think, for your site. Uh, tagging posts allow you to relate posts together, allow you to uh, sort and filter and organize posts by tags, so you can add some tags here if you wanted. The monetization features are something else on Wix where you can offer subscriptions and add paywalls to selected posts. So if you have some kind of membership here on Wix, you can... You can get in there and do that. However, that's probably not what most people are going to, uh, you know, worry about with, with their posts. And then, of course, translation opportunity to make your blog multilingual. Probably also something you're not too worried about. Basically, you want to know how you can add posts, add in the title, add this, maybe a couple of settings over here, but then work through your posts and add all these these different sections and and be able to write, edit, link, and of course, publish your post. Before we click publish, let's see what's in the dots. So if you wanna save it as a draft, you just drop that down, save as a draft, come back to it later to finish it. You can schedule 
your post from here without immediately publishing. Look at the post history. You can even duplicate a post. So if you wanted to um, create a new post based on another post, you can actually do that right here easily just by going into the original and duplicate it and then kind of edit it from there. But all in all, then we can publish our post. Now, once we've published our post, it might tell you, hey, here's how you can promote it. We don't care about that. We can click the X. We see the post right here. And then actually, because this is a light box, we can just click the X button on our dashboard here. And we're going to go back here. It might take a sec. There it is. It'll load in. And now we have the burgers post here on our blog. We can go to preview. And you can see up here, I had the categories in on this blog. So the burgers category now exists. We've got this burgers post. We could click on it. It took our featured image in there and that's what shows here. So we're gonna load up this burgers post and you can see this is what we typed in. As we scroll down, remember we selected those recent posts or we selected the related posts and those are gonna show up down here as well. So if you don't select any, it might just show the recent posts down there. All of that controllable, but we won't get into all the blog stuff. I just wanted to show you guys how you can add a blog post here on your Wix website and all of the different functionality and settings that you need to care about when you're working with those blog posts and adding new ones. And that is how you can add a blog post here on Wix.